guys, what's up, man? Action Figure Junkie back with you with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force Parts and Accessories. And the right, perfect amount of Hasbro thrown in for good measure. Now, I know if you, uh, if you subscribe to my channel and you see my videos, you know they usually come out on Friday. I just couldn't wait. I had to do this one early because I'm so excited about it. This is a custom version of Sonic Fighter Dial Tone. So, if you watch my videos, you've seen that I've, uh, I've already done a dial tone. In fact, let me get him. Where is he? So, um, I was really excited about the dial tone that I created. And um, being a big fan of dial tone, I think I may have described uh, or explained this in previous videos or online at somewhere that everybody who's a G.I. Joe fan and collector has those certain characters that they may not have been the most popular to everybody else. You know, they may not have been the Storm Shadows and the Snake Eyes of the G.I. Joe universe, but for you, they were the most important and you really loved them and they were your favorites. Maybe for you it was Alpine or Bazooka or Footloose or maybe it was a weird choice like Raptor, which if so, I think you need help. <laughs> but anyway, mine was Dial Tone. I had three versions of Dial Tone and he was one of my favorites. I think he was just the perfect storm of a guy who I loved his, the colors of his uniform, I loved his gear and his weapons, and I loved his, uh, I don't know, just kind of his hat and his, his bray and his face and everything. So I went ahead and made a second Dial Tone. Now here's my first so we can kind of compare and contrast. I had to go ahead and get two heads, which was not easy because I needed to have both of them function I couldn't just kind of split head. <laughs> Is that a term? I don't know. You know, share the one head. So there's my original dial tone. He's got the uh, the beret, the uh, the mustache, and the brown hair. That's pretty much all you really need. That's the first one. And I kind of went with a little different uh, style with his weapons and gear. He has um, that really cool traditional radio backpack. And then a gun that I thought was, in reality, as realistic as could be in reading up on what the original Dial Tone's uh, gun was supposed to be. It's a nine millimeter with a, there we go, a silencer. Now that's a real version of that. So I gave him that gear, but you know what always troubled me is I always like, I really loved the original Dial Tone's gear, even though they're totally unpractical. <laughs> this big giant communications backpack. Well, it was so iconic to Dial Tone and so a part of his uh, character, but let's be honest, I probably have a better computer than that on my cell phone. But still, it was awesome and it looked good. So I had to, uh, I had to find a way to, to, to fit that in. So I decided to put it on this one. Now, uh, I think he looks really good. Now let's go over, let's go over what he's basically supposed to be like. He's essentially, you know, modeled after the uh, uh, Sonic Fighter dial tone. The Sonic Fighter, Sonic Fighter was a line of GI Joe that came out uh, in the late '80s. I was never really a big fan of that line. I thought most of the figures, uh, their gear and accessories and weapons were beyond lame. So um, I just took the Sonic Fighter dial tone back in the day and replaced his ridiculously oversized, silly ass gear for the uh, original dial tone stuff. Now, if you can kind of take a look here as I'm messing with my program and my camera. You can compare and contrast the original to the current. I really did love his color scheme though, blue, black, and gray with a lot of silver. So I decided to just do that. Blue, black, and gray with a healthy dose of high silver. Um, blue pants, gray shirt, black vest, and then tried to replicate as best I could all the actual silver on the original uh, Sonic Fighter dial tone. Now the Sonic Fighter dial tone, as you'll notice, did not come with that really cool um, badge on his left uh, bicep. No, yeah, left uh, shoulder slash bicep, as it were. Any of you who are watching this video who know exactly what that uh, emblem signifies, please feel free to let me know. But I did get one for my original dial tone, and I thought, you know what, he, he'd look cool with one too, so why not? So I put it on him. Um, did a lot of uh, detailed dry brush painting on his backpack to make it look weathered, textured, and worn. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I don't have the steadiest of hands. 
And then his gun as well. Focus on that, baby. Yeah, that thing looks like it's seen some mileage, which is what I wanted. There we go. So, um, yeah, I scratch. I like to paint the armor and make it look scratched, used, worn, and, and just textured. Not too crazy, because uh, I still, I you know, still like to keep it somewhat cool looking. So that's my dial tone there. He is a um, Sonic Fighter dial tone. Essentially a, uh, it's just, just essentially a re repaint of the original dial tone. And for me, that's good enough. There we go, check him out as he comes around again. I'm really loving the silver though. Thankfully, Marauder Task Force came out with a bunch of silver accessories. I remember when they first did that, I thought, what the hell am I gonna do with bright silver stuff? I'm, I don't know, make a robot? Well, thank you for doing that, guys, because this dial tone would have not worked without silver because that's how we originally came, and it really looks cool and popping on the gray, black, and blue. So there you go. If you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to let me know. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening. Feel free to check me out on all the socials. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, Reddit. Obviously, I'm on YouTube. Ha! -ha! Duh. Check me out everywhere and um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I really appreciate you guys watching once again. Have a wonderful weekend. If you're watching this, uh, you know, before it starts, I'm probably going to be posting this on Thursday because I'm so excited to get it out. I really love this dial tone. Maybe we should uh, let both of them share the last couple seconds of the video. Tell me which ones you guys like best because honestly, I couldn't pick. I love having both of them. Nice, look at those. I don't like to be proud of my work because you know, I don't like to be prideful, but man, I don't know. I gotta tell you guys, I think I did a fairly decent job on these two guys. All right, anyway, I've uh, bored you enough. How do we close these videos out, my babies? You know it. <laughs>